What's up guys? We got some old guys here today. Old train units. I got a bit of rain, that's spectacular. The sun's not beating down on me too bad. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's just that cloud right there. All these guys are off over here. He said he turned them on. It's unoccupied space today, they're closed. But basically he was here doing stuff. He kicked them all down. The back one seemed to run and cool. None of those three seem to run or cool. <clears throat> so, so I got big ones on either side, a smaller one in the middle, and then that does, it's like a front register area. So we're gonna go through one at a time. He said that one runs, so I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch anything if I don't have to. I'm gonna make something worse than it already is with these things. Probably older than me. We'll start, I guess I'll start on the corner. Work my way back towards the hatch. See what we got. I don't hear this thing running. I did crank the thermostats down to like 68. Yeah, I got nothing. I have to get the control panel open. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> well, that ain't gonna work. It's like the motor got replaced. Alright. So, maybe we got a low pressure issue here. That belt doesn't look in terrible condition. <clears throat> I mean, the pulley's worn, obviously, because they put the same old pulley back on. But, this guy's not running. Let's see what we got here. I can hear the blower running on this one. So, at least I got a blower there. This is where I was going to start anyways. I got a blower here, too. So this was, I gotta screw it out. This was on an old control system back when it was the big box store that it used to be. All my controls should have been disabled and bypassed. So I think that's all gonna be in there. But these have, things have worked since then. So let's get this guy open and see what we got going on here. So I've got no call here, or no call. I, I'm assuming I have a call because I turned the damn thing on, but I've got no lockout. My little LED back there is steady on. Looks like everything looks pretty normal. I do have a blower. <clears throat> the compressors feel kind of warm, like maybe they were running. That's a problem waiting to happen so we're gonna need to do something with that before that gets worse um, I would suspect with the looks of that condenser motor and my wires hanging there it's also a bad spot because my compressors are warm I wonder if we didn't go out on high pressure just would have expected that LED. to flash, I would think if there was a lockout. Oh man, I'm good, master of the obvious. So, I got a locked up fan motor there. <clears throat> like I said, I'm assuming I've got a call and everything. I got a blower. The compressor should be on they probably didn't run long went out on high pressure and I don't know if there's a time delay in the control or how that's gonna reset but we got some issues there so let's uh 
I guess let's leave this one for now. Let's move on over to those. I know what I need. I'm gonna get a just start making a list. I know I need a fan motor and then see what I can get done today. This old girl's seen better days, man, but I'm still kicking, kinda. All right. So that one was easy. This one, I guess we'll see. Lost one compressor. I do have a blower running. Looks like this says exhaust fan, that's supply fan. I got nothing else happening, but I don't, I've only got one overload tripped. Leaking sight glass, that's, that's my handwriting. Tighten the sight glass and added nylog, how about that? That was in 21, I don't even remember working on this thing. Um, let's check our voltage. I did, I did find a high quality crescent wrench. I think she's gonna need some little, a little bit of oil. Yeah, she's, uh, she might be too far gone. Um, so I've got everything working. Like I said, this is my controls that I have no idea what goes where. Try to find anything that resembles a thermostat. This, this is the same kind of wire that I had on the other one. Yeah. I don't know what all this is. It's all jumbled mess in here. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my Y signal blue looks like that's going to these two relays here so maybe blue is my y2 no i'm just fumbling my way through this because i don't know what the hell i don't know what's what let me take a minute let's find where's red That's red there. Where might my common be? Hmm. That was like 100 volts. So that's not right. That's... That can't be right. Let's see if any of these relays are energized. Maybe they're 120 volt relays. One of these has got to be a fan relay, right? There's 26 volts. So I'm gonna assume that that's my fan. It looks like the whites jump out. So that's gonna be my common. And that is my common. So I got 26 volts there. And it looks like I've got a signal for the fan is why my fan's running. And I'm guessing I got cool one. Oh, there's a signal too. That would have been my blue wire there that I was connected to. Now the other one, yellow, didn't have a signal coming in, which is odd. And then I don't know what this last relay is, but I've got 24 volts on it. <clears throat> Let's see if we got anything across this time delay. No voltage on the time delay across it, so that's a closed switch. Should be. All right. Um, Let's start with these fuses here. Let's make sure these are gonna be high voltage controls because this is all high volts. 110 volt coils on my contactors. So I think these are condenser fans. So let's get fuse, fuses checked there. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, 
This is hard with one hand. Let's check our fuses everywhere and then we'll go from there. So I know I got three phase because my blower's running and it's not screaming at me. But let's check. Got no voltage. No voltage. No volts. Somebody's replaced these fuses. Uh oh. I got 53 volts across that one. That was this one here. Yeah, so I've got a blown fuse. There's the 480 I'm looking for. So I blew that 15 amp fuse. I'm gonna have to decipher my wire diagram and figure out what that feeds. I see now exhaust fan motors, 120 is pulled. So we're not running the exhaust. This has kind of been pieced together since the new tenant moved in. And like I said, some of the things have been shut down. Some things were still working halfway. So let's start there. Let's find out. I'm, this is gonna be stage one and two, I'm assuming. So that overload being off shouldn't affect me. I gotta figure out what all this feeds and we can go from there. So I did find, I can't see, so I don't know if y'all can see, but 1F4, 5, and 6, 1F1, 2, and 3, 2B1 through 6 is, if we look up here, 2B1 through 6 is uh, condenser fan motors. So I've lost a condenser fan motor, I would assume. Now I gotta get up top and find out which one, get it pulled. I would think with the fuse replaced, as long as we pull the bad fan motor, the others should operate. I would think at least one stage would still be operating, but again, didn't seem to have a signal to what I thought was my Y1. So I didn't check these yet. We need to check these fuses. Uh, so there's a whole lot more fun going on down here. These are at least been labeled over the years. Stage D, first stage. Those are, these are gonna be my compressor contactors here. These, this is all my terminal blocks where all of the safeties and everything feed back to. Let's hope we don't have to get too far into that because I don't want to fucking decipher too much. This is a nightmare as it is. Um, let me see fuses. Let's see. Now, oh, of course, they didn't leave me a good fuse. Why would they leave a good fuse? Yeah. So, somebody's blown fuses before. I'm going to assume... This fuse block feeds these three fans. That fuse block feeds those three fans. And I'm gonna have, I'm assuming, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So I gotta figure out which one failed. It's gonna be on one of these three contactors. This contactor is new, so I'm gonna assume one of the blades looks new from what I can see. I just peeked my head over the top. I bet that got replaced with the new fan. And yeah, we can check the ground I guess see if anything's grounded maybe that should be output no it's probably locked up and just over amping I'm not getting ground anywhere. So let's get up there and see if anything's locked up. I'm gonna go down and grab me a fuse and get one of these disabled. Here we are. 
All my wires just hanging all willy-nilly, you know. Nothing's gonna rub. That'll never cause a problem, right? Um, these are, that fan blade's new. That motor's been replaced. This motor, I can see, it's got its rubber piece. And I don't feel any, maybe a little bit of bearing play. And I can hear it a little bit. This is missing its rubber piece. And I can feel those bearings. That's my culprit right there. Especially with that being open. Um, I'm going to figure out which one that is. So I'm going to figure out which exact motor that is. And then we'll go from there. Let's disable that one and get these two running. Uh, reset this guy and see what comes back on. Like I said, the other stage I would think still should be running. So I'm going to give it a reset and we're going to cross our fingers. Because I still got to go look at that guy and figure out. I'm guessing Freestat or something had it locked out. Um, it may just need a belt put on and a reset as well and it may work. All right. I did check those fuses, they're good. I, I just showed my wires through. These are my wires to my fan motor. It is going to be this one here. So we'll ohm it out and see. I did just kill, I've got a toggle switch here that's a uh, system switch. So I just flipped it off. That's why my blower's not running anymore. So let's go ahead and ohm this one out. just for s and g i mean hell the damn thing may run it may just be over amping would be my guess and it just blew a fuse yeah 15 amps 20 amps these are three phase motors obviously and 20 amps let's go to the other old one that that's about it's not the best way to do it because I am going through the wires on the contactor but that's the new motor 22 so 20 20 amps would be a normal reading and I'm getting odd readings on both of the other ones or at least Let's see this one's just dancing around this one was at least consistent might have two motors failing because i'm reading 20 ohms at least somewhat close to it on that motor and this is the one Make sure again carefully because there's still power in here. Yeah, that's the motor that had the bearing wear, and this is the motor that my ohms are dancing. I mean, that's close enough, it's dancing, but. I'll bet it runs. I'll bet it's just locked up. Let's go grab a 15 amp fuse, pop it in there, and see. Let's get, we'll get an amp draw on those two motors, and see which ones. That, that one's gonna sound the worst. That one's gonna have to go. We're not gonna be able to run that circuit anyways. And then hopefully when I turn this guy back on, we've already got one missing compressor. I'm not gonna dig too far into stuff like that because I mean, look at this thing. Uh, I doubt we're gonna throw a compressor at it. So we're gonna to try to get it running. Um, fuse, see what happens on that end and see if it won't come on normally. And then we'll work our way back to the other guy. Power back on, got a new fuse in. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm just gonna bump contactors for right now and see if anything blows up. Let's verify I've got three phase first. My 480, that was the leg I was missing. 
All right, so we've got 480 volts. Put the safety glasses on and stand back. Let's get my batteries down. Let's turn my wireless off first. We're gonna amp draw on this first guy. This is the one that was oming out weird. Two amps. You can hear the bearings on that one too. That's this one here. That's the one. It's the one I thought. So that's correct and running two amps the other one could have got water in the damn motor too because of where it didn't have the we've had some rain lately you can see the, the water i'm standing in because the roof drains so well but i mean it could have had water it could have been running and had water in it so one more sounds a whole lot worse We're drawing less amps 1.7 get on the good motor oh how about that maybe that's what did it son of a bitch how does that even happen you can see where that wire was not stripped well it's a new motor so somebody put this in and cut half the wires when they stripped that and then half ass got it on that contactor that could have single phased and blew the fuse because i mean two amps if i'm two four and six amps i should never be drawing 15 to kill a now one of them could have locked up too i don't think this circuit's going to run until we change some motors anyways but let's get that wire stripped and back on <sighs> i mean for real So let's keep the phasing correct. It's black, red, and blue. I bet that red one pulls out of there too, we won't bet. You shouldn't be able to pull wires out like that. What the hell, man? It just keeps getting better. Now I've killed and verified power. They were in there. They were halfway tight, but like I said, they were never, never had a great connection. I can still see some wire in that one. So we're gonna pull them all out, make sure all the old wire is gone and there's nothing else in there. And then what I'll probably do is, because they're so thin, I mean, these are small wires. It should be fine in this lug as long as you get a good connection, but I might loop it and just do a little horseshoe and just so I've got a good connection and make sure you don't break any of the wires when you strip it because that's not a good connection on I mean hell that's a couple strands of wire that ain't gonna work real well so let's get all that correct now we're well stripped we're tight I'm not pulling those wires out of there now just with my meter too is kind of scary how loose that was now back to what I was doing. Oh, that's the new motor. That locked up. What the hell? Let's make sure I didn't blow my fuse. Yeah, blue fuse. All right, so the old motors with bad bearings are still okay. Brand new motor, God only knows when it was installed. Wires pulled out and I bet I got wonderful connections on the other side. This is dumb shit that shouldn't happen if you halfway do your job. You don't gotta be a fucking genius to do this shit, guys. If you just halfway wanna do a decent job, you'll find a job out here because there's fucking idiots everywhere. Let's get over to that motor now and find out and just check the electrical on it. Let's make sure it's wired right and I got good connections there. So I was just thinking that power is off and verified again. You can see some discoloration there. Check this out. It's 
another bad connection. These, <laughs> I was gonna say they're okay. I mean, come on, man. I mean, they probably should have connectors on them, but good God, if you just make a good connection. Let's go check at the other end. I mean, none of these were good, but that motor hummed like it was locked up. So let's go verify my wires between here and there. I guess they gotta be okay, because I ohmed it out and it ohmed out okay. So let's check how it's wired. <laughs> Now, we're going to have to verify the wiring, but that guy's already got, I mean, the bearings are shot. Why well, does that happen? Thing doesn't look that old. can't really screw up the wiring on this it's a true three phase 460 and I can smell it it's burnt up the wires I don't know how well y'all can see any of this the wires look okay I mean none of them shorted out I guess that's just a I mean the connections probably aren't great but I mean they're on there the difference between a 1980s motor and a 2023 motor or 2020 maybe I, i'm just assuming i don't know when this was put in there's no date on it but it's a newer motor and she already died so let's disable this motor and see if we can get the compressors running we really need all three motors these are going to sound the same it's not going to be any different but these things sit here and run two amps with bearings failing like crazy this thing's new and won't run for nothing now this guy's probably gonna stay off until we can get a motor so I've just got the motor isolated from the contactor because this has an auxiliary contact I don't know this one has an auxiliary contact as well but I don't know what that auxiliary contact feeds so I want it to be able to pull in and it think everything's normal like I said, I'm probably gonna shut it back down, but let's flip the toggle switch and turn our power back on. Um, I never really did look at the belt. Ow. Belts are nice and tight. Yeah, so everything looks about as well as it can in here. Gonna have to wait for the thermostat to time out, I'm sure. We're down a fan motor and a compressor. I'm the compressor's probably been down for years. I don't I don't know how long it's been like that. That's why I'm not gonna dig in too far. And we'll go over and check on that guy shortly. Let's let this time out and see what happens. We got a compressor. No fan motors yet. That was stage one. They're gonna be on pressure. So my contactors just pulled in. Obviously that's my one that's disconnected. This one should be next. And it's gonna operate off pressure too, I would assume. Or temperature. I'm not sure exactly how they did them on these old ones, but usually there's a coil temperature sensor, I think. Um, so as it stages up, I should see everything come on and then I'm going to be, I'm happy with that. So we probably tripped a high pressure because none of my fans were running. Once this fuse blew, um, it probably tripped us out on something. There goes my other fan, my other compressor. Contactor's a little noisy. <clears throat> but I got a first stage at least.
Floyd ain't amps. Sounding like crap. Brand new motor did. There's two amps. I'm not gonna leave it run like this until we can get the fan motor situation figured out. I got the same problem over there. Let's see if stage two comes on. We can get, I didn't blow any fuses, so I'm sure my fan motors are good there. We'll make sure those stage up. And then we ought to be all right. Pretty sure my blower did. Yeah, my blower started again. I did the same thing with that one. I got, I got uh, reset the power whatever lockout was there which was high pressure um it reset and tried to start back up too so i've got uh just playing the condenser fan motor game today Ow. that's the right direction doesn't sound the greatest but things are old. I don't know how old these things are. I wonder, I wonder if I can find a date. Maybe a model and serial? How about that? J92 is the serial number, so maybe it's a 92. It's not going to give me an actual date. But I would guess 92. Still alive and kicking. Let's see if we can't get an amp on the compressor. 18 amps. Stage two hadn't kicked in yet. 17 amps. Okay, with that. they were marked up here. Yeah, between 17 and 21, 25 on that one. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna make sure it stages up and then I'm moving on to the next one. Let's put that belt on, get it reset and see what we can find wrong with it. And at least uh, I'll have a list for them and we can come back and get motors on everything and hopefully be all right. So this guy's gonna be a little different. It looks more like the newer models. Um, I've got a steady light on that old board. I swear they flashed when there was a lockout, but I could be wrong. Um, all my overloads are on. I'm going to assume that I have three phase. These, yeah, so these are my condenser fan motor fuses on this one. And we'll start there. So all those fuses are good. I'm reading zero volts across them. Uh, again, I'm gonna assume that this is my problem and that that's what's got me locked out. So hopefully we can put belts on there. Make sure it's aligned okay. Looks like their old economizer is still connected. Filters are clean, so let's get this belt on and see how well it's aligned or why the hell it might have fallen off. Static pressure there. All right, let's put the belt back on it. So these can be tricky, but you see we got the belt back on. Tension is pretty good. I'm happy with that tension. Let's see if I can get you a shot, but. that and I don't know how well the camera's picking it up this pulley's too far out it needs to it needs to come in you see that twist in the belt and that's likely what threw it the thing's only gonna start and stop so many times before it flips that belt off so and you can see it even twisted it's hard to show on camera but it's twisted um, let's see if we can't loosen this up and slide it back some more. I've got plenty of room as long as they didn't 
booger up the shaft or anything feels okay looks like it's got some boogers right there like somebody was messing with it let's see what we can do with it yeah that key keys pushed up on this end it's like a key went back locked itself in place it's back there I don't even see a, a set screw there's a set screw there and there's no set screw on the back it's because it's in the middle it's in the middle of that pulley god damn it <sighs> can't win today and all dumb shit all this stuff could have been avoided none of this stuff could have should have happened I mean, I can't blame the motor failing on anybody, I guess, but whoever wired it could have done a better job. This should have been aligned right before they ran off and left it. It's been here since 21, I think, was the tag on it, so they put the motor in in 21. But uh, take a little more time, align things, make sure you got good wiring connections. You'll save a trip like this for me, you know, two years later even, having to figure it out and the hot roof and try to get things aligned and done correctly like they should have been done in the first place i'm a little jaded today so on these old ones you just gotta loosen both of these and you can see it'll move so we're just gonna count our turns until i can get to that inside key or inside set screw which is right there so we'll count our turns and make sure we put it back where we got it from. Shout out to my favorite maintenance guy. He gave me some new Allen keys the other day. He didn't watch, but you know, smart maintenance guys, your best friend. Now my key actually moved. So that's where the set screw was there. But it ought to slide back. Now I'm going to not tighten everything back up, but put the pulley back where it was, get the belt on it, and then just get an eyeball on it again. You gotta be able to tell. be able to tell it still looks a little a little far out maybe a little more so we're just gonna adjust and see how far I went with that that's how far off it was so again don't lock my key on the back there and then that thing will move so I haven't tightened anything down yet and you can see how far I moved that you can try to get measurements off this stuff it's it's almost easier just to eyeball it that's what ticks me off about it being so far out of alignment that we didn't even eyeball it if you're not looking at it from the top like this you're not trying I mean just get a little eyeball on it. you can see how much straighter that is I mean that belt was all the way out here so I like it a whole lot better my eyeball is usually pretty good, so I'm gonna lock everything down. And we'll turn this guy back on. I bet it don't throw the belt this time. Now, because I didn't have any blown fuses or anything on this guy, I bet it'll start up. We're gonna have to wait on the time delay from the thermostat, and we'll just watch the blower start, make sure everything looks good, make sure all the condenser fans run. And uh, it probably just tripped a free stat or something. Like I said, I'm not sure about those controls. That's weird. I thought those flashed just like your RTRM would, but I don't know. It was obviously locked out. I mean, same way as that one. That one's still running. So we're going to wait for the time delay. Let the blower start up. Just see what she looks like. That switch there goes up to the little titty on top. And that's the blower status. So that's what had everything locked out. It wasn't going to run if it didn't see that switch close. I just put it in test mode. You can see my flashy light. 
I don't know why the thermostat didn't time out. The guy may have, may have not taken the, I set the temperature down, but may have not taken it. Now that looks nice and smooth. She didn't fly off on startup and she's not bouncing or anything. So I'm happy with this. I am happy with that. Now I'm just using my test mode here. We'll see, it should go blower, economizer, cooling one, sounds like shit. Fan motor, cooling two. Ooh. So it must not have taken my My thermostat setting he might have turned it back up or it may have kicked out of the hold i put it in but we're gonna have to address that loud noise it's in a cab that cold suction line it just doesn't sound great on everything but this one motor I gotta figure out why it didn't look like it was getting voltage but I gotta figure out where everything's fed from everything the other three fan motors had amp draws so I'm gonna make sure they're going the right direction make sure we don't have a bad capacitor or something but we ought to be all right like I said it's been a long day already we've got the main problem solved this is all gonna work. So I need to verify my one more motor and then we'll come back, do motor there, motors there maybe, I don't know. Motor there and motor here if we need it. This is my guy that's not running here. I've only got the three. I swear I had four capacitors. The hell, there's five capacitors. What the hell's going on here? Um, I don't know. No time to try to figure all that out. Let's just figure out why the hell that's not running. So I truly don't have power. This is my ODM3 here. You can see ODF2. That's going to be the outdoor fan relay. W17 and 235. And that's fed from the fuse block. And then 231 black is to my motor. Right there. There's 231. So, I don't know. I don't think that relay's energized. Nope. not energized other leg of power is going to go to the capacitor so I should technically be able to carefully turn that fan on If I can get it to stick. 
least long enough to make it run. We can get an amp draw on it. And it's running like the rest of them. 2.6 amps. So now I've got amp draws everywhere. It was a little higher. Boom. So we ought to be good. I don't know why the relay's not energized. Like I said, I've got it in test mode, so it may take another jump and kick it on or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I know it all works. Um, if it doesn't work from the thermostat when we come back, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, I'm gonna go down and check the thermostat. I've had about enough of this roof. That guy's still running. We're gonna get some condensed fan motors and then we'll check on this guy. Uh, when I come back, we'll go ahead and check the thermostat when I go down. I have a feeling the thermostat kicked out of my hold. Leave a trade better than you found it, guys. See y'all next time.